Hey there, Wildcats. Welcome back to another Cat Chat with Brad Wellborn. Uh, I am he, uh, Louisiana College Sports Information Director, and we're going to talk some women's soccer once again this week. Uh, Sam was unavailable last week, so it's been, it's been a while, and uh, we'll, we'll skip over some of those games last week and to talk about what's happening this week uh, as you guys played last night against Centenary. And, okay, not the outcome we wanted, obviously, three to two, but here, here's the way, and maybe, maybe you not have thought of the, about this because, uh, well, here, okay, so two things. <laughs> I've done a lot of thinking, so I'll I know you that. have, I know you have, <laughs> two things. Okay, so there was an emotional incident that happened 20 minutes in or something like that. Was it 20 minutes? I keep uh, telling everyone it was, like, it was like 10 minutes. Well, okay, I don't really remember the Me exact neither. time. But, so whatever, the situation happened, you get a red card and you're down down a player the whole rest of the match. Yes. Okay. So the team, I think, rallied, right? They played well. They didn't give up a whole lot after that. And so that's got to be that's got to be a good thing. So thoughts on that first before I give you the other thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> before I give you the other yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, no, exactly what you said. Mm. Like. It could have went one of two ways. It yeah. could have completely crumbled exactly. and had a pretty bad result against a team who we should be competing with, mm -hmm. if not beaten. Uh, but no, they did the opposite. We've tried to, I know we're not talking about last week's games, but after last week's games, that were a bit of a struggle. Uh, like the weekend in general, we decided to kind of focus in on the things we needed to do in order to win games. So set goals for each unit and then right. see if each game they were going to achieve those goals. So despite going down a man each unit still had to you know try and reach the goals right. that that the set and uh i think i i do think they did a good job i do think they did a good job we as a coach you always look back and i'm like if only we didn't get right. a red card yeah but based on who was on the field and who got in the game they all made an impact and i couldn't ask for for anything more from them yeah so number two number two thing from the game last night Two goals. Yes. Right? And it was Ashlyn who scored yes. both of them. So that's got to be encouraging on its own. I mean, and that, I told him that after the game. I said, if you take anything from this game, up until this point, we have struggled to score. Yes. Like we scored one goal from a PK. Mm -hmm. uh, Molly scored a goal against Belhaven. Good bit of a fluke right, type right, thing. Yeah. But in terms of build up play, like those were goals. Yes. And Proper goals. I don't know what Ashlyn ate for, for the <laughs> keep eating it. Do the same uh, thing. Keep this eating season. it. But yeah, the second goal, I didn't even see the build up. I just seen it go in the back of the net. And at that point, I was just kind of like, Is any, can anything else happen today? <laughs> I was ready for everything and anything that happened. But okay. at that point, after the second goal, uh, I willed the team to go ahead and get that third one because mm -hmm. we only had like five minutes left and I'm like, we don't want to go to overtime. We've got 10 players, yeah. you know, uh, and we did keep pushing and unfortunately they scored a goal and when the same girl scored three goals and she's been on fire the whole season. Uh, so, I mean, with, with like I said, with 10 players against a team with 11 uh, and a dangerous forward, I think we, there's a lot of things we can take out of it heading exactly. in heading into this week which is a nice segue for you next yeah. pop Brad. go Thank ahead you. appreciate it <laughs> so yes uh the, they will continue uh playing this week thursday and uh saturday against the two abilene schools hardin simmons and mcmurray um now hardin simmons is hardin simmons they are they are hardin simmons and um which they're very good. That's what I mean by yeah, that. I don't know what they're ranked right now, but yeah. last time I checked, it was like up around mm -hmm. fourth ish yeah, in the nation. They're up there for sure. So obviously, it's a just a chance to hey, go play and and do what we do what we can. Uh, but then McMurray opportunity the team we beat last year. Um, Ashland I think scored two goals in that game. Ashland likes this yeah. weekend. <laughs> so Ashland likes this. this, this Early October time. This definitely could be an opportunity there for, like, I mean, I, I just feel like the team may be playing with some sense of confidence after last night, and you just got to not get deflated on Thursday for the Saturday match. It, exactly, exactly that. I think uh, if it was my choice, I think I would have flipped the Harden mm, Simmons and McMurray yeah. game so we could build off that. Right. Uh, but I do think, kind of like the Mary Horn Baylor game we had last week, we got beat 4 0. 
Uh, and two of the goals were could have been easily prevented, so it wasn't mm. like a massive breakdown that we have no idea how it happened right. type thing. Uh, but like same with that game, that's a team that usually we sit back in the defensive half for the past three years and defend, defend, defend. Mm -hmm. Like Mary Horn and Baylor had to work for their win. We even scored a goal which got pulled back because Molly took the free kick a tad bit early. Mm. Uh, but I'm hoping it's it's one of those games. Like we're not looking to just sit back, defend, defend, defend. We're looking to protect the goal. Right. And then when we get what opportunity, get forward and attack. And we've got players now that can that can do that, that can mm. come back on defence, then get in the attack. Yeah. Uh, and I think when you play a team that's nationally ranked and you aren't nationally ranked, a lot of the time it is. You're using it as a confidence builder. Like You've got to look at the realistic side of things. What mm. can we get out of that game that can propel us going right. into... Mm. Going into McMurray, which which should be should be a competitive game. Right. Exactly. I'm hoping. Yeah. So Thursday and Saturday, Thursday or yeah, Thursday at five o'clock. Saturday a little bit earlier than normal because of the football game. It'll kick off at noon on Saturday. So uh, if you're not able to make it out for whatever reason, which we obviously hope you can, uh, the games will be streamed on our website, lcwildcats.net. You can go over to the side and it says live video, or just click on the schedule or social media. You can find it if you want to find it for sure. Uh, so yeah, gonna be gonna be a fun weekend. A lot of go a lot of stuff going on. So hope you'll be able to join us and watching some soccer and some football this weekend. Sam. Thanks for coming by. As always, a pleasure to talk to you. I'm Brad Wilmer for Cat Chat. We'll see you next time.